Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is June 18th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. This is this morning. You can see there is some smoke out here. I believe this is the Sites Fire, and you can see some marine layer in towards Southern California. A lot of sunshine along the immediate coastline. However, you can see some high clouds out and about out there. And if we push back through yesterday, and I'm gonna push through the day here, and you can see this fire activity here, smoke across some of the foothills there, and the Sites Fire there. And as we went to sunset you can really see it on the goes 18 satellite imagery there and as we scroll through this morning you'll still see that this is producing quite a bit of smoke out there across the region we've got some gusty winds some low relative humidity and some fire danger again today across the area we'll take a look at the extended forecast see if we have any rain on the way here because we definitely have a warm-up coming and we'll dive into those details a bit here as well a little bit closer look there as we go through this morning you can again see the sites fire producing the smoke just to the west of the i-5 uh, uh Interstate 5 there, uh, you know, that goes to the valley areas here. But yeah, interesting stuff that you can zoom in so far on the GOES-18 satellite imagery. You can still see some of the snow across the higher peaks there of the Sierra Nevada. And again, if you want to check this out, you can go to Cal Fire. Let's go ahead and Google that and you can click on any one of these individual fires. Pick which one, ever one is close to you and see how they were doing, see how much of it is contained and see just how big those fires are. Uh, La Los Angeles, California National Weather Service here is still wind advisory up and there still is some red flag warnings out there as well. This is Eureka, California, talking about the site's fire there. You can go to airnow.gov here to check out local air quality uh, values as well. Now taking a look at the red flag warning again, we've got the low relative humidity, some gusty winds out there. So again, a lot of cities here are included in this. All it takes is a spark to start things off. Taking a look at the GFS as of last night. So you can see a lot of the Intermountain West here this morning below average. But as we scroll through the upcoming days, you'll notice the temperatures start to bounce back as we go through the weekend coming up here. And we start to go to some above average signal here across a lot of the Southwest. We do have a trough that tries to swing through some portions of the west coast here as we go towards the end of the month but it doesn't last long and then we bounce back here as we go into the early portions of july take that with a grain of salt of course at this time range here this is the gfs as of last night again and i'm going to scroll through this really quick here because you can see california two weeks out maybe some drizzle for the coast nothing showing up for the state of california a little bit better chances of course across some of utah uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado there, but not much for here for Nevada or California over the next couple of weeks showing up right now. We'll continue to check back daily <clears throat> to see how that trends. Looking at the national, uh, the North American model here, the high resolution one, and you can see that as we go through the evening and afternoon hours, we stick pick up those wind speeds there across the higher terrain down the coastal areas here watch out on the headlands they're pretty typical for this time of year and then as we scroll on in through the day Wednesday we relax that gradient a bit and we kick off these winds again as we go through Wednesday evening and you know kind of rinse and repeat here as we go all the way through Thursday afternoon taking a look at 500 millibars this is geopotential height at 18,000 feet here you can see where the ridges are and the troughs are here across Montana and if we put this into motion notice that it's going to be kicking out of here and we start to increase the heights here across the southwest and look at this ridge start to try to build in here as we go through the weekend that would definitely be warming things up here across a lot of the southwest you can see the troughing there across some of british columbia here but yeah definitely a sign of some things to come here as far as warming things up here across the southwest usa no tropical cyclone activity expected out here across the eastern pacific ocean for right now at least during the next 48 hours we'll continue to watch that as we go through the season and here we go through June 27th, you can see the above average signal here, kind of bullseye right across Nevada and Utah, includes California and Arizona as well. And here's the six to 10 day precipitation there, kind of below average signal across some of the Intermountain West. And again, if you want to check out this fire information, you can really get some nice detailed information on this 10,000 acres that site's fire there is. And you can see the Interstate 5 the road is right here. And yeah, there it is. You can kind of zoom in on this stuff too and get some really detailed information. So heads up for that. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, um, we'll continue to watch things. We'll continue to monitor the extended forecast to see when things are going to change. You know, we're eventually going to get some more active weather back in here. And one could argue that this fire activity is some active weather and the fires are definitely kicking up. It is that time of year. You know, that's the downside of all the rainfall we've gotten here because we, you know, a lot of the undergrowth and the vegetation that grows 
during the winter months or the spring months here, even when it gets to summer, it starts to dry out here. So even weather the normal conditions can still equal some pretty active fire seasons here across the state of California. So anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Click like and subscribe. We'll take a look at this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.